Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sudden turn of events: Feinstein sealing FBI investigation from public as allegations collapse. Just keep repeating to yourself: the darkness hates the light. The darkness hates the light. That would seem to be the lesson from the latest turn in the Democrats' scheme to annihilate Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh, his family, and Republican hopes for a more constitutionally framed U.S. High Court. Over at Young Conservatives, Nick Arama writes, Senator Dianne Feinstein just made a move that shows how hypocritical the Democrats can be after all this drama. Democrats have gone out of their way to throw all kinds of dirt at Judge Kavanaugh in the hopes that something would stick and they'd be able to stop his confirmation. T. Hey, we're all about disruption, delay and Spartacus moments. And, the letter from Christine Blasey Ford, dropping it at the last minute to delay the first vote. Then as the allegations remained uncorroborated, they started to move the goalposts, talking about Kavanaugh's drinking in school 30 years ago. Now Feinstein is moving to have the FBI report sealed and not made public. Dotted Sen Feinstein indicates that the FBI report on Kavanaugh should not be made public, it would seem to me that if people are going to be identified this ought to be held very close and not. I think the investigation ought to be closely held, she reiterated. Elizabeth Landers more details from the Conservative Tribune stating that CNN reporter Elizabeth Landers has tweeted. Feinstein, indicates that the FBI report on Kavanaugh should not be made public, it would seem to me that if people are going to be identified this ought to be held very close. Funny, Feinstein didn't seem all that concerned about keeping people's identities closely held when the letter sent to her from Kavanaugh accuser Christine Blasey Ford was leaked to the media nor did she exhibit any such concern when she publicly spoke about some of the other individuals named by Ford, or the other accusers who have popped out of the woodwork in Ford's wake. Young conservatives are Ama echoes the puzzlement, quipping, wait, didn't the Democrats demand that there be an FBI investigation and now they don't want the public to know the results? Yep, knowing Feinstein and Co's track record, it should indeed be no surprise they seem determined to have it both ways, heads they win, tails Kavanaugh, and the GOP and America lose. So in other words, if the FBI report isn't good for them, sit on it. If there's anything they can spin, let it out. Smear him in public, but clear him in private. Arama. Senator Chris Coons, Dita, who supposedly played a role in getting Republican Senator Jeff Flake to back off from his initial support of Kavanaugh, threw in these thoughts. I think that the work product of the FBI should be kept confidential to the Senate, but all senators should be able to review it, Coons told reporters. That's typically what's the case in any background investigation, the FBI delivers investigatory work, facts, not conclusions, and then senators review those files. But those are committee confidential files typically, he added. Also typical would be for the Senate Judiciary Committee to quietly investigate allegations against a nominee by itself, without dumping all of the disgusting details into public view via coordinated media campaign. Don't miss that last observation from CT's Ben Marquis, it's crucial. There has already been in place a process by which those original, scandalous, potentially ruinous, and now increasingly dubious, charges against Kavanaugh could have been vetted and brought before him discreetly by concerned senatorial parties. This would have occurred in private in weeks before the potentially defamatory information about the 53-year-old jurors leaked. Moreover, it may have forestalled last week's incriminating Senate Judiciary Committee circus which broadcast before millions of TV-viewing Americans, and likely a hefty global audience to boot. Lovely PR for the American system, by the way. But, raps are ama, because the Democrats leaked confidential information into the media and blew this whole thing up into a drama with the explicit purpose of stopping Kavanaugh, they don't get to dictate now how he should be cleared. Indeed, as Boston radio talker Howie Carr might say, a standing headline could well be, Democrats double dealing raises its head again. Or, left's hypocritical standards keep changing the terms of the discussion. Or, Party of Transparency wants to keep info hidden from American people. Don't forget, just short weeks ago the news cycle was dominated by Democrats' complaints that not every grocery list in Doodle Kavanaugh had ever generated, 100,000 pages of documents, wasn't made available to the committee. Early in the prospective justices' hearings, Fox News quoted Senator Patrick Leahy, DVT, we don't know what is being hidden. Then, these mordant musings from Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, President Trump's decision to step in at the last moment and hide, 100,000, pages of Judge Kavanaugh's records from the American public is not only unprecedented in the history of, Supreme Court nominees, it has all the makings of a cover-up. 
We are witnessing a Friday night document massacre. President Trump's decision to step in at the last moment and hide 100k pages of Judge Kavanaugh's records from the American public is not only unprecedented in the history of SCOTUS noms, it has all the makings of a cover-up. Chuck Schumer Today's Dems? SHH, keep the FBI findings shuttered away from the regular folks. No denying, those Dem goal posts keep moving around like a Las Vegas chorus line on crack. Kavanaugh is a sleazy rapist, a gang rapist, in fact. Oops, well, never mind. But he was a high school and college age drunk, who'll threaten the security of the Republic because he once allegedly threw ice on a fellow imbiber. Oh, not buying that, either? Okay, would you believe he was a belligerent maker of fart jokes when he was 17, 18? Hey, we need to brew all this stuff around for those who might take it seriously, until it's better to keep the details in the shadows, away from the delicate eyes of John and Jane Q. Public. They might decide wrongly, after all. Leave the deciding up to us, thank you very much. How do these characters reconcile themselves to their whipsawing lack of intellectual and moral integrity? How do they sleep at night? Maybe they're suffering exhaustion from all that never-ceasing, ruthless scheming, and scrambling. Meanwhile, American patriots do need to reconcile themselves to something else, leftist bad faith and duplicity ain't going away anytime soon. It's not that good people should grow to tolerate it, but they must be prepped to expose and meet it when it surfaces. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.